Welcome back to Prey, everybody. Uh, I just want you to know that um, as I play this, it is... It's late on a Sunday night. I I should be in bed, but um, I just want to play this some more. <laughs> I really like this game, man. And uh, so I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm not that tired yet. I'm going to go ahead and play a little bit more Prey before I end my weekend and go back to work tomorrow morning. I have to be someplace at 8.30 in the morning, and it's, uh, it's about 11 o'clock now, so it's not too terribly late. But uh, as the game was loading up, you know, uh, I always have a moment of, okay, where, where was I when I was last playing the game? And then I was like, oh yeah, I'm in Psychotronics. I'm in this area that is supposed to be very difficult and um, probably pretty scary. So I was like, hmm, I picked a heck of a time to um, stay up late and do some gaming. But it'll be okay. I'm, I'm really excited to explore this place and see what Psychotronics has in store for us. Now, we had uh, heard from Alex Yu, who was like, man, if you're going through Psychotronics, you must be really serious about something. Who are you working with? You working with, was it Milena? And, or he named two names. And again, I, I wish that there was a way that I could go back and hear those uh, messages again, but you can't. Current objective, well... Our main objective is simply to go through psychotronics to make it through guts. But while we're here, I was kind of hoping that we could find Bellamy's corpse. That's going to be tricky, man. It's going to be a lot of work. But uh, let's give it a shot. Speaking of giving it a shot, let's pick up this turret. And uh, we'll see if we can't put this turret to work for us. Maybe we could use this guy to uh, wear down some enemies here. Uh, I'm curious about this clean room over here, but I'm not strong enough to move the boxes to get into it. Um, so we are going to go through uh, the f women's clean room preparation and maybe hope that we could get to the men's room on the other side. I'm going to set this down here. Hey, whoa, stand up. Sit down. Deploy. I'm going to deploy that and have a little bit of... A little bit of firepower at our at our disposal here. Got our glue cannon here, and um, I don't know what we're gonna see in here. I'm gonna drink this nasty water. We get some health for it, so that's cool. But yeah, we've been told that this is where the Typhon outbreak originated. Something red just showed up on my screen for just a moment. Did you see that? Did you see that? The notifications in this game are kind of weird. A little wonky. The Starbender Cycle Book 3 Spatial Delivery? Huh. Alright. Excerpt from Book 3 of the Starbender Cycle by Fetcher McMarvin. Trevor Pulsar slammed the Talon's engine into overdrive, praying to Zalor he'd make the gap in the asteroid field before the Mordrax raiders caught up with him, or to him. He was on urgent business for Empress Tourmaline, and rotting in a Mordrax kill prison wouldn't do. JT-88, Trevor barked. Patch me through to the nearest Royal Fleet outpost. Moments later, a scram scrambled hypersignal could be heard in the cockpit, resolving from static to discordant tones and finally a voice. Trevor, is that you? This is Outpost Lambda. Where in Zalor's name have you been? Trevor replied, cool as a cucumber. Saving all of your asses, I found the Starbender Prism, and I'm coming in hot. Oh boy, hopefully we'll get to read more of that in other books. So, picking stuff up, seeing if there's cool things underneath of stuff. See if there's stuff on top of things. There could be. It would be cool if I could get on top of this. Scanning target, no Typhon material detected. Yeah, I'm not a Typhon. So don't shoot me, please. Can I get up here? Seems like I should be able to, right? I can. Well, 
I mean, I really didn't think there'd be anything up here, but uh, it's certainly worth a look, right? And it doesn't look like there's any advantage to being up here. Whoa, okay, game. Just decided to make me stand up. That is an interesting uh, mural on the wall over there. <laughs> I should eat some food. Get my health up. Proximity sensor reset. Safety first. Psychoscope mandatory beyond this point. What? What's a psychoscope? Psychoscope mandatory beyond this point. Put psychoscope down. Well, that's kind of scary. You think there's going to be some of those poltergeists in here? I bet you there are. Can I find a psychoscope in here, whatever that is? What the hell is this weird stuff in here? Are these just fancy bottles of shampoo, I guess? I am really, really nervous about going in here, man. Well, let's, um... Let's pack up our turret here. And we'll take it and set it out here. And maybe it'll see something before we do. Huh. Well, there's doors there, so I don't think this thing's going to do me much good. We're going to deploy it anyway. Could pick that up, but uh, it doesn't look like there's any reason to. Can we get in here? We can. We could get in this one this way. Oh my. Oh my. That is a lot of blood. Whew. The ambience really changed when we walked in here. Did you notice that? I think I hear something to the to my right here. Oh, what? Whoa. What in the hell happened here? Whoa. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, it freaked me out. Is that space? Are we talking outer space out there? I don't think so. Well, whatever that was that dropped freaked me the crap out, man. I might be a little too jumpy here. Look at her body over there, man. Just hanging on the edge. Oh my gosh. Oh man, what in the world happened in here? What in the world happened? Something is going to jump out at me. I'm going to pee my freaking pants. Alright, what's with the scary... Is it this thing making that noise? Oh, I think I... I think I might have heard breathing or something, even. Laundry cart. What is making that noise, man? Oh, now it stopped. The sound effects are weird in this game. I think there's a little bit of work they need to do on the sound effects. Sometimes there's inappropriate sound effects. Sometimes you'll hear things that you shouldn't hear. Sometimes you don't hear things that you should hear. Flickering light makes me nervous over there, but uh, you'd think if there was a phantom over there, he'd be making a lot of noise, because those guys are generally not subtle. What the hell is that? What in the hell is that? That's like a wrench stuck in a toilet. Is it, like, is it like holding this in place here? Stupid me turns my back to it. What? Alright, I don't know what just happened there, but I don't like it. I still hear sounds. 
A mimic tumor. I'm gonna flush the toilet. Flush that mimic down the toilet. But I still hear it. Where'd it go? This might be stupid. Okay. Wrench. I took the wrench. Flush the toilet again. I don't know what the hell's going on there, man, but I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm just gonna heal myself while I can. Oh, man. Look at this craziness. Who's this? Allison Brady. What you got on you, Allison? Uh, why, why scary sound effects? What you doing, game? Why you gotta, why you gotta make scary sound effects? Allison Brady. She's got a Psy Hypo on her. She's got a glue canister, Petri dish sample. Oh man, there is a uh, health kit down there being all tempting and stuff. I don't know if I want to drop down there, man. I'm pretty sure I don't want to drop down there. I mean, I don't even know if I want to go down. I mean, I mean, I mean, what we want to do is we want to get here. This is our objective. And what's weird is that there doesn't even be, appear to be a level beneath this. So I'm not even sure what's going on down there, right? There's no level zero or... There's no lower level, so where will this take us? What is this place? If I drop down there, will I be able to get back up? <sighs> Let's see. What is this place? Some crates here. What is this place? It's awfully quiet. Now, right there is a big thing that I'm not going to be strong enough to move. So I'm not going to get, be able to get past it to get to whatever those things are. I don't know. Those are glue canisters or recyclers or what. So I'm wondering if I even want to go down here. And, um, Transtar air hose. Gosh, can I get out? I can get out. Oh, that's good to know. Let's kind of get this off this lip here. Come on, let's go. This may be stupid, stupid, stupid idea. Eh. Uh, really, really stupid. Yet, I'm doing it anyway. Curiosity killed the cat and all that. Yep, sure enough. I gotta get out of here. I can't take all these things on at the same time. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, I can't get out. Get up. Get up. Get up. I can't get up. Get up. Damn it. Um. Well, it's odd to me that they're staying down there. Ah. Got one of them. Going through a lot of bullets. Took care of that one. I know I could get out of here. Isn't there another mimic? Weren't there three of them? Whew. Thought there were three mimics. Who knows what's around there, man? That weird sound. I don't know if that sound means there's a mimic or not. That kind of skittering noise. So yeah, we need leverage three to carry this thing. I cannot get in there. I'm not I'm not really not willing to spend the points for leverage just to get to that. I don't think that's that important. I could be wrong, but I don't think it is that important. I guess maybe that noise I hear is just water dripping, but it's all skittery. Oh, what is this? Oh, 
What is this place? What is that? Oh, uh, what is that? What, what am I looking at? What is that? It's like a symbol on the wall. What is going on? Some blood here. What? There's a body in there. What is this? What's this weird symbol? Oh. What? There's a mimic there. He's like frozen. What? Oh, he's got the psychotronic thing. He's got it. I'm going to get one. Okay, he's got a test tube sample. Oh my gosh, look how much space I need to carry this thing. Mimic Detection Gen 1 allows detection of hidden mimics. Two Neuromods. Typhon Organ. And then I've got a Psychoscope, a specialized instrument for measuring paranormal brain activity. Also shields against some forms of psychic aggression. Can I pick it up? I can. Put it on, man. What the mother is this? The psychoscope was a breakthrough. Apart from neuromods, it's the most important tech on Talos One. Use it to scan the Typhon organisms if you want to learn what makes them tick. You invented it, by the way. <laughs> what the hell? Look at those guys, man. Look how serious they are. Toggle your psychoscope with Z to mark and scan nearby enemies. Scanning Typhon reveals new abilities you can acquire by installing Neuromods. What the mother? All right. Oh, what? Okay, let's, um, I'm in research now. Mimic, research. Excerpt from Psychotronics database. Common name, Mimic. Scientific name, Typhon Cacoplasmus. One of the first Typhon discovered during the Verona 1 incident in 1960, mimics are capable of imitating nearby objects. During incident case number 0648-040163, it was observed that mimics use other living organisms as a reproduction medium, killing their prey in the process. In accordance with the Pogbeg protocol, mimic specimens are not to be released in environments with a containment rating of less than S4. Scan data, weaknesses, glue and Q-beam, immunity, EMP, scannable powers, mimic matter 1, 2, and 3. I don't know what that means, scannable powers. Huh. Okay. So, uh... Glue cannon. Well, great. Now I got another freaking glue cannon taking up space in my inventory. So I got this guy here. No new data, it's telling me. Okay. Alright. So I could just whack on this guy, I guess. It's like he was in eternal glue. This is, uh, Janos Yosef. Look at his face. Huh. So now whenever I zoom in, it's with this thing. Well, I gotta say, I'm glad I came down here because, um... It told us that we're gonna need... The Psychoscope... From here on out. That message we saw on the wall. You mother. It's a mimic. But, unfortunately, I saw text that would indicate there is also a phantom nearby. Maybe right there. Yep, whoops. Uh, yep, sure enough, I don't know how he got marked, but there he is. So there is now a phantom walking, about, walking around. Um, we also picked up something else. Mimic Detection Gen 1 allows detection of hidden mimics. Psychotronics skill unlocks more slots. Let's install this, right? Allows detection of hidden mimics? Yes, please. 
Oh, cool, we can uninstall the chipset, too. Awesome. Okay, good. And then Fear Reactor. Upon killing a Typhon, there's a chance to trigger a Fear Blast on other nearby Typhons. Well, let's go ahead and install that, too, now that I know I can uninstall things, right? I mean, right here, I can uninstall it. And then I could just reinstall it. So, let's go ahead and put that on there. Why not? Why not? I don't know. Because I don't understand what it does, really. Come here, you. So, he's got like a little bar underneath of him. I'm not really sure what that bar means. Oh. Oh, I was scanning it that whole time. Alien Research, Typhon Ability Research, Mimic Matter 1. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, what's going on here? There's more things I could spend Neuromods on. Mimic Matter 1, Neuromods Required 2. Camouflage yourself by taking the form of a nearby object uses two psi per second. And apparently I could get more info here. Wow. Sneak past enemies or slip into small spaces by taking on the shape of everyday objects. Hold mouse two to enter psi targeting mode and use mouse to select an object to mimic. Release mouse two to ex execute. You will appear as the object where you were standing. Use the move keys to move. Enemies will become suspicious if they spot you moving too much. Whoa. Crazy. Okay then. Wow. This will cost me two Neuromods to get, but that sounds pretty cool. I wonder how useful it is though, you know? Here we've got energy. And I guess this red means yeah, unknown ability. Okay. What the hell, man? Oh, man. Should I get this? New psionic aptitude available. Yeah. Psionic aptitude available. Come here, Mimic. Come here. Well, I want to shoot you down here. So... We could turn into something small, but I don't think, I don't see anything small enough that I could turn into that will allow me to get in there. Quit throwing stuff at me. I <laughs> can't throw it that far. Oh, he's still alive. There, screw you, Mimic. Crazy, crazy, crazy. My gosh. So much cool stuff in this game. I gotta figure out how to get out of here. I did it once before. Problem is, there's a phantom walking around over there. There we go, I'm up. Alright, we got a stupid phantom making noises over here. Making noises. Um, <laughs> walking around over here. I don't even know what I'm saying. I must be losing my mind, this phantom says. I guess my um, little turret over here didn't really do a lot. Look, that phantom's not hurting at all. Do a little bit of scanning on this phantom, maybe. I lost him. So I need to scan him without him seeing me. Oh, he sees me. <laughs> Why don't I just stand there and look at him? Is this telling me this is a mimic? Look, what's this thing telling me? This is a mimic? Scan complete. More specimens required. More specimens required. Is that, does that mean that's a mimic? Is there a mimic inside of this crate? Is that what it's telling me? Oh, it's a mimic, all right. Huh. I'll be damned. I'll be damned. Okay. That was a mimic. Hey, Phantom, stick your head up there so that I could scan you, dude. From down here, that would be great. Come on, stick your head up there. Yeah, there you go. Good Phantom. 
Scan. Come on, dude. Scan him. Got it. Oh, holy hell. He hit me hard, man. He hit me hard. I wonder if he could come down here. Well, we got some more research. Phantom. Common name Phantom. Scientific name Typhon Anthrophantasmus. Phantoms are not wholly alien. Created by weavers using human remains, phantoms have been known to exhibit human-like neural patterns at times. But as noted in observation log number 1621-041477, while phantoms may also attempt to reproduce human phrases, they do not appear to retain any form of actual speech or human comprehension. Due to the specimen's explosive speed, phantom must be subdued or enclosures purged before attempting to enter. Scan it. Weakness glue, immunity EMP, scannable powers, kinetic boost 1 and 2. Okay. Um, okay, we know what these are now. But I can't... At, at least... Okay, so I know what this is. But I guess I need to scan him. Maybe? Or do I need to scan all these targets? I'm not sure how this works exactly. Oh, cool. He shows up on the map, too. Well, we got a phantom walking around up there. Whoa, whoa, what the? He hit me from up there? Really? Not sure how I feel about that. Huh, so what's he gonna do? Just hang out up there now? I mean, he's, he's kind of got me cornered. No new data. No new data. It's gonna shoot at me again. Holy cow, man. I was zoomed in and got totally lost. away from the hole now. Yep, he's walking away. Whew. I don't like this. Um, Recycler charge. No wave transmitter. Typhon lure. EMP charge. I mean, this will do some damage to him. I don't know if I want to use it, though. I guess I could just try to pick at him from down here. I don't know, man. Let's try this. Let's, um... Whoops. He's moving. Oh, man. I think I hit him, but... Ooh! Achieve and unlock. Reduce, reuse, recycle? Oh, I didn't get him, though. I wonder why I got an achievement. I don't know if I did any damage to him at all. I did! He's dead. Okay, that'll work. That'll work. Had to use some resources, but uh, I think it was well worth it. Oh, wow. Huh. The, um... The glue that was there is gone now, but that actually made it easier to climb out of there. Well, what'd you have on your you phantom? You had an organ, spare parts, suit repair kit, and a burnt circuit board. Man, I am going to run out of inventory again. Look at that. Well, maybe I have more slots left than I thought, but still. Hopefully there'll be a recycler down here somewhere. Let's go ahead and use one of our suit repair kits. 25 points of damage. Repaired. Get our suit up to a better number. So it said Psychoscope mandatory beyond this point. Am I really supposed to walk around with this thing on? What am I? Research complete. A turret. 
Weaknesses, Electric, EMP, Explosive, Melee. Immunities, Psychic, and Null Wave. Okay. Turret's broken. Thanks for nothing, turret. Thanks for nothing at all. Um, is there anything else that I want to research around here before we move forward? Don't think so. Don't think there's anything out here. So am I really supposed to just walk around now with this thing on all the time? Nothing to scan in there. This is so cool, man. Oh, look at that. Huh. Oh, I heard something. Oh, what I... Oh, shh. Nikes. I fell down in this hole. Can you believe that? You can, can't you? I think I heard, um... This freaking... Mimic, wherever he is. So apparently this psychoscope doesn't use any power. So we could just walk around with this thing on all the time. Psychoscope required beyond this point. Psychoscope required beyond this point. Well, I got one. Here's a lift. Why is a psychoscope required? Was it required before the outbreak? Before the breach? Or... I, I have to think that it's always been required here because of those big signs, right? Here's a body. Hello. What? Oh, you... Oh, are you a friend? Research complete. So we've got a science operator. Weaknesses. Electric, EMP, explosive, melee. Immune to psychic and null wave. Okay. Well, hello, how are you, science operator? What do you do for me? Scanning. Neural imaging shows your psychoactive potential is at or near peak level. Oh, okay, so this guy would give me a psi abilities, I imagine. Right? So, we scanned this turret before. Uh, excerpt from the engineering database, testing log, product eradicator auto turret version 0 0.7.6, observer Franklin Good. The accuracy grade for this newest turret iteration is a significant improvement over the last generation with a marked 17% increase. The jamming issues when transitioning to portability mode also seem to have been resolved. Stability is still shit. The psychoscope element works well, but I recommend tuning the sensitivity down somewhat. I've received complaints from Psychotronics that some of the prototypes we sent down for testing are a little high strung. There's a psychoscope element on these things? Okay, I guess that's how they determine whether there's uh, Typhons around or not. Morgan's notes. These are our notes. Easy to upgrade and repair. Base model is weak against some of the larger Typhon. Be careful around them with Neuromods. Does not like any Typhon material around. Interesting. Hmm. Could be dangerous. Whew. Here I am walking around with 15 Neuromods. Beeping and worrying. Dr. Gill, your neural pattern shows no sign of Typhon material. Is that good? Neural pattern shows no sign of Typhon material. Okay, well, that's good. Oh, this is going to take us up. Oh, yeah, I knew that. That's right. Steven Mueller, he's got Petri dish sample, glucosist, and a mimic tumor. Well, thank you, Steven Mueller. I wish that there was something I could do for you. I really do. I sure am glad that this is a friendly operator. <sighs> okay, so we are going to take this lift. This lift is going to take us up. Oh, no. Is this just the the operator that's it's, it's marked here? Marked NPCs. I guess it's the operator. But he's, I guess he is marked, isn't he? Okay, so that's all it is. I thought there was an enemy I didn't see. Anyway, we look at the map, and we're going to take this lift here. It's going to take us up to level 2. That's going to take us to the atrium. Over here is a fabricator. Over here is a recycler in the director's office. Is this Alex Yu's office? No. 
Alex Yu's office is in the Arboretum, not the Atrium. Let's not get those words mixed up. Oh, here we go. I see you've already huh. figured out how to use your psychoscope. Uh -huh. All right, Morgan. I know I can't make you stay put, but you're gonna die down there if you don't listen to me. I'm sending you the code to a safe in Director Kelstrup's office. I'm certain he's hidden neuromods there. Use them to install one of the Typhon abilities. That's what this is all about, Morgan. You spent three years of your life making it possible. Putting what they can do into us, you've just forgotten. Can we trust him? I mean, if we install one of the Typhon abilities, we're going to register as a Typhon, and then turrets are going to start shooting us, aren't they? Oh, something over there. A phantom? Kinetic Blast 1 available. That's a phantom over there. So, we now have Kinetic Blast 1. Requires three Neuromods. Create a physical blast that deals up to 50 damage and pushes away anything within 5 meters of the targeted area. These are, this is great artwork. I love this. Just, it's so cool. I love it. Hold mouse 2 to enter sight targeting mode and use mouse to aim kinetic blast. Release mouse 2 to execute. Enemies caught in the blast will be knocked down and damaged. Kinetic blast will also shove objects out of the way. Higher levels of kinetic blast will shove heavier objects. Man, that sounds tempting too. There's so much stuff to spend my neuromods on. And look at me. Yeah, look at me not spending it on anything. So. Where is this, um, where is this phantom that you just scanned? I don't see it on my map. I don't see it marked, so where is it? Oh boy, there. Science operator. It said Dr. Yu. Was it that science operator way up there? So yeah, can we trust Alex? I don't know. Neuromods are Neuromods, so let's get him. So what he did was he gave us a new objective, so I guess we should check that out. Dr. Kelstrup's Neuromods. Alex sent the code for Dr. Kelstrup's safe. I should collect the Neuromods he says are inside. If you view this on the map, we'll see that um, it's in the director's office right here. Power kiosk, interesting. Well, let's see if we get into this office here. Hello, Dr. Yu. So, where? Oh! Oh, there's a phantom in that chamber there, that enclosure. Caution. Equip psychoscope prior to viewing. Specimen contained within. Typhon Anthro Phantasmus. So there's a specimen in there. That's what we were able to scan. Okay. Cool. Look at that. Well, we're going to be able to get in there just simply by breaking through this. But uh, let's kind of peek through this hole here. See if we see anything that we need to be concerned about. There's a mimic over there. Scan complete. Mimic Matter 2 is now available. <laughs> Requires Mimic Matter 1. Camouflage yourself by taking the form of a nearby object. Mimic slightly more complex machines such as turrets. Why would I want to mimic a turret? These things attack turrets. Uses two psi per second. And then this again. Oh. <sighs> Available. So there's a mimic over there. We know about him. I'm not really sure how to catch that on fire. I mean, that's like some kind of oil that we've seen on fire before. 
I'm not 100% sure how to ignite it. I don't know whether just shooting it with a bullet would do it or not. Dr. Kelstrup's office. No matching key card. So Alex gave us the key to the safe, but he did not give us the key to the door. And we simply need the key card. We cannot hack into Kelstrup's office. Huh. So, thanks for nothing, Alex. I mean, I know we could get our shoot our way in there, or bust our way in there. Yeah, even from here. This is interesting. Why did somebody take the time to do this? To glue this all up? Boy, that broke almost all of it. There's a body over there. It's probably Dr. Kelstrup himself. Live specimen required for scanning. Whew. Power control terminal. It's looking behind me now. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Look at that, there's a, uh, whoops. The railing there is broken. So, we've got arcing going on in here. Let's go go ahead and bust this other one, too. Why not? We'll just take a look from this side as well. No new data on that mimic. So what's the best way to take out that mimic? Should I just go ahead and shoot it? Oh, we're in the director's office. This is weird. This, um... This really changes the game. Now that I know what mimics are before I see them, I'll go ahead and shoot it. Why am I not hitting it? Is he behind glass? <laughs> I think this means that um, when I fabricate something, that mimic's gonna come out. <laughs> yep, there it is right there. Haha, uh -huh. killed you. Surprise attack on the Mimic. Well, nope, there's a Fabricator. Oh, anti-rad, anti-rad. Oh boy. I don't like the sound of that. Why do I need anti-rad? Do I hear something over here? Or is it just this arcing? Here's a little garbage can. Nothing in it. Uh, broken cooler fan. Sure, I'll take it. Nothing to search down there. Jeez. <laughs> oh, Can this thing arc this way? Probably. Here's a maintenance access panel. control terminal. I can turn off power if I want. I can turn off central power. I don't feel like I want to do that. Because I don't want people to recycle anything. Hellstrip safe is over there. Let's go ahead and recycle all this stuff. Whoops. What did I just do? Okay, so we transferred a bunch of stuff over there. Recycle. It's a lot of stuff we just recycled. Live specimen required for scanning. What do we have here? Oh, I heard something. Did you hear that? That little... I heard a little chicka chicka chicka. Sound that sounded like it's like it's a mimic, but I don't see one. Panpsychism, Greek term pan, all everything whole, psych, soul or mind, all basic physical constituents, I guess, of the universe have 
um, what? Have, uh, proto-mental properties, is that what that says? That are irreducible, energy, matter, psi, consciousness. Energy is to matter as psi is to consciousness. So you use energy to move matter, and you can use psi to move consciousness, maybe? We've got... Oh, that's some stuff in Russian. Parts of the human brain. This is pretty cool, man. Muscle profile there. I'll shut that up for a minute. Hans Kelstrup. Test tube sample. Hans Kelstrup's cabin. Dr. Kelstrup's office. Get out of the way here. It's nicer that it warns us. So we get a new key card. Doesn't look like that opened up a new objective for us. But uh, we got the key card. See, hear that noise? That sounds like a mimic. But my uh, psychoscope isn't picking it up. Um. I mean, this is Kelstrup's office that we're in, so I guess we have the key to this door now. Not that it does us any good now. Oh, his safe is over there. It's computer. Two utilities. Conference room. Allow access to the LG conference room. Oh, there's something in here, all right. Where is it? Where is it? Where is this damn thing? Where is it? Why am I not... Why is this not picking it up? Did it go in here? Doesn't look like it. You saw it, man. There's something here. What? Vital signs what? <sighs> well, apparently I got too close to it. Um. Yeah, I guess I got too close to it. I can't bring up my mouse wheel when I'm in the psychoscope. Yep, there goes all my food. Where's this stupid mimic that I saw? Be cool if the arc thing got it. What the hell? Got these weird sound effects and stuff. Oh, there's a sound effect again that means something sees me, right? I hear it. Where the hell is it? Oh, oh man. I don't like this. As soon as I walk around the corner there... Let's see what happens if I turn off the power. Central power is off. Don't know what good that's gonna do me, but... Can't get to this computer now. But now that I walk over here... The stupid mimic finally come out. The noetic field. We read that one already. Can't use a computer. Typhon Mimesis. Part 2. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Excerpt from lab, lab notes maintained by Rory Mannion and Christine Lloyd. Earlier models postulated that the mimic reformed its molecular structure, actually replicating the atomic makeup of target object. We now hypothesize that mimics are not changing shape at all. When they mimic an object, the mimic is no longer objectively present in this universe. The mimic swaps with an object in a parallel reality, but maintains a conscious link, a kind of paradimensional entanglement, to the object in our universe. Wow, so it's in a different dimension, huh? Well, here's the safe that we know the key to. And we're in. 
We got a ooh, need a Neuromod fabrication plan. And some Neuromods. So we collected the Neuromods. We're gonna get another call here. Morgan, a warning. If you scan enough Typhon organisms, you'll be able to install Neuromods that are powerful, but they're the reason we're in this mess. For one thing, the station's defensive turrets will identify you as an alien threat. There might be worse consequences I can't yet see. I don't want you to lose yourself. This is such a cool game. So. Seventeen Neuromods. So I guess, are these the Neuromods? These are the Neuromods that we were learning from the Typhons. And I guess if we obtain too many of these, then we'll start to look like a Typhon. And I don't believe there's any way we can uninstall them. As a matter of fact, we know we can't uninstall them. Because in order to uninstall a Neuromod, you have to go all the way back to zero. So one way I could play this game is by never installing any of these Typhon Neuromods. And so therefore I will never look like a Typhon to the station security turrets. That's one way to play it. But man, these are some pretty cool sounding uh, abilities. You know, Kinetic Blast sounds pretty cool. This Morph ability sounds pretty cool. And who knows about telepathy, man. Who knows? Well, it is time for me to end this episode. Unfortunately, I can't seem to figure out where this uh, mimic is. And I'm disappointed that my psychoscope isn't picking up on it. I don't know why he's not seeing it. Because that's his job, man. He's supposed to be seeing these things, but he's not seeing this one. So I'm not sure what the story is here. But uh, we'll try to figure it out next time. I'm going to end this episode right here when we come back next time. We will have to turn on the power. Because I do definitely want to see what's on his computer here. Absolutely. Something's making a lot of noise. Don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't want to stop playing, but I have to. I gotta get some sleep. Well, thank you guys for joining me on this play session. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. This game does not disappoint. It is freaking awesome. I'm loving it. I hope you are too. If you are, why don't you let me know? Leave me a like or a comment. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you will join me again in the next episode.